Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to Tunic. Today is gonna be a weird one. Uh, it's kind of up in the air what we're gonna be doing because it's all dependent on how this boss fight goes. <laughs> we're still gonna be fighting this uh, scavenger boss. He's very tricky, he's got a lot in his arsenal, but the main reason why we're still gonna be fighting him is because of what he's guarding. It looks like it could possibly be one of the three keys. It's definitely got the same shape, so I'm about 90% sure that's one of those three keys. And I don't exactly know the best way to beat this guy, so we're gonna try a few different things. I'm thinking, for one, we're gonna try the decoy, because we haven't been using that a ton, and we're gonna try this card here that looks like it's maybe gonna heal us with the decoy, I don't, I don't know. It's all up in the air. We also have some bombs that we can try out. I mean, we've been using the incendiary and the dynamite, which had mixed results, but we could also try some of these other consumables. So yeah, we're just gonna try this out, and if it doesn't work, we're gonna go around the world and try and find some more chests, maybe with upgrades, obviously, to make this whole experience a little bit better. <laughs> but we'll, we'll just try. Okay, you. So he can get stunned, but I feel like if he's in the middle of his animation, he's just gonna follow through. That move is really annoying. So the biggest thing that I have to remember is to not spam the dodge. Because if I spam it and run out of stamina, then he's going to just drop my health so quick. So it's just a matter of patience and timing and not getting hit. You know, easy stuff. Okay, okay. Got your kicks. How about you go after this decoy? Oh wow, really cool, right? Oh, decoy just ran off the edge. <laughs> oh, not the smartest of decoys, but I guess it, it bought me some time to get some damage in. Now, early on, we did try the, the hook shot a bit. And we got a couple of situations where we were able to pull him into... Is he locked into the same animation? He seems to be doing that a lot. <laughs> but we were able to pull him into the bombs that he was throwing. But it was more... It was more down to luck, it seemed like. I don't think we're going to be doing this. What does this do? Quicker stamina regen. That's actually very handy. Oh, okay. Okay. See how close we can get? It's just right there. I feel like... I feel like we can get it. Ah, uh, we just need the right arrangement. I would say let's freeze him, but I I haven't really had too much luck with the freezing. It's great for stalling him up for a second, but it's not like we can get in a ton of damage. Uh, I really wish I just knew what these did. I only know what a couple things do, and then it's just up to playing around with it and feeling it out. But like this one. It's called Dagger Strap, but... I don't know what it's supposed to do. So yeah, I think we'll just keep trying. I might just cut out a few of these attempts until we get it, depending on how long it takes. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Why did he, did he take damage because I got the spirit back? That didn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, you. 
cut you up. Get the stamina back. I don't know how long the stamina boost lasts for, but I suppose we should start the fight with it. It's good for all circumstances. Now we get it back right away. Come on. Ooh, if we can get him, like, stuck in an animation, that'd be good. Ooh. Heal. Gotta be on top of this. Don't kick me, you jerk. He just lunges so far. Okay, get back. Shotgun. Shotgun again. Third time. So now that's done. Can't exactly get any uh, magic back. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Stamina. Okay. So it's like two, three hits at the most. And then it's really not worth it beyond that. <laughs> okay, stupid move. Ah, I rolled into it. Come on, heal! That was dumb. Well, this is a wash. Ugh. All right. I feel like we're getting some useful information from these fights. I'm definitely learning his patterns a bit more, but still really rough. All right, you, take some damage. Ah, he got knocked back, but I don't think he took any damage. No. All right, damage buff. Put that there. I wanna know how much um, the damage buff affects. Like, is it just the sword or every one of my attacks, like bombs, shotgun? I don't know. As long as he stays there, though, he's gonna take some tick damage. Nice. Well, I can count on the shotgun to take, like, half his health. <laughs> so maybe that's all that I was doing. Get out. Okay, dodge across, get burnt. Oh, you idiot, you ran into your own explosive. That would be the best if he, he did the final blow by throwing a bomb and running into it. Probably asking for too much though. Roll. Okay. Ooh. This is so tense. I hate it. Whoa, what was that? Are you telling me I accidentally parried him? And this, hold on, can I do it? This is an actual parry. Are you done? Is he dead? I cannot believe that. I honestly cannot believe we beat him accidentally. <laughs> I mean, I knew it would come down to luck, but 
I didn't even know what this was. I was kind of guessing it was a shield bash or a parry, but I couldn't get it to work. And we just happened to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, what is this? It's one of the symbols. Wait, is it... What... What's the benefit? Do I just have to go deposit it? Does it give me power? I mean, honestly, we couldn't cut it any closer than that. Our health is... non-existent. I don't know what this guy is doing. I think he's dead. I hope he's dead. Oh, but <laughs> that's a lot of weight off my shoulders now. Glad that we finally took him out. Even if it was through unconventional means. So now... I think we just go back and try and deposit this symbol? Because, I, yeah, I, I can't imagine what else we would do with it. What's the quickest way back? Uh, maybe the town? Oh, I suppose we should check up here, too. We might deposit the symbol over here. Hello? Is it... Is that it? Can I do this? Oh, you're clapping! Well, I'm glad that you find that amusing. Alright. We'll go back to the gold door. Okay, well, actually... We didn't have the the hook shot. We didn't have it when we explored up over here. So we can probably Well, since we're right here, hold on. We'll go in and see what we can do with the symbol, but we can flip this lever and it, we could probably go to a new area. It's just it's way too easy with how this game is designed. Whoa! Well, that's extreme. But with how this game is designed, it's easy to forget areas that you kind of just glance past. So... Yeah, we're, we're just gonna have to explore where we can. So that's... that's where we went before. Uh, we need to go down here. First things first, because this is all new. We'll see if we can do anything with the symbol. Yeah, that's the same. Either there's something over here that we can... Oh, there's gotta be. That's red. No. Just give me over here. Is this blue? This is blue. Okay. Good. Progress. Please tell me I get an upgrade. That's interesting. Okay, see ya. That's one set of rings down. What? That just dropped the barrier, so we got the key, but we didn't get anything? Like, that was the whole goal? I think our stats are the same. Okay, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. In that case, we're gonna go over here. Um... I think this is all new. What's the sign? Forest Fortress. Was that just Eastern Forest? It's been so long since we were over there. Oh, this shortcut. Okay, I'm remembering this now. Uh, get me over there. Oh, so close. We gotta get that chest. 
But that... It looks like we're going back to the forest, but a different part. So that's gonna be fun. It's probably gonna be full of envoys. Please be an upgrade. Oh, that's a really good upgrade. That's fantastic! Oh, well we could have... Really could have used another heal for that, uh... <laughs> scavenger boss. Uh, who cares? We beat him. He's in the past now. Well then, into the forest fortress. Oh. Oh. Whoa, okay. Well, I know what I need to do, but chest. Oh, decoy. Okay. So we need to activate this. So we can get the shrine. Cool. Upgrade, please. Not an upgrade. Really need some more... I, I would really like magic power, mostly. Because that shotgun is doing so much work. Oh, ooh. Let's get a vantage. Holy cow. Okay. Well, it's another... Okay, there's a few of them. Like some of those fox sorcerers, but they're more like monks now. <laughs> huh. Well, looks like we have to probably meditate a few of these obelisks. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Okay. Well, now we know. Um, we didn't meditate here, so <laughs> let's let's get this all set up. And I guess we'll just pick a direction and run into all the walls because secret passages. Come on. One of these days, I'll find one before. Like, having to do a whole loop around and then finding a shortcut coming back. One of these days I'll find one. But not today. <laughs> Ooh, tutorial page. Those are always good. Get this. A lot of money. Suppose we can buy more, uh, bombs and stuff. Oh. Okay. Sealed at the root of the world. We got that one. Stolen to the top of the sky. Green might be tied to the librarian then. That might be the case. And then coveted it in a forest temple. Huh. I wonder if this game is smaller than I'm thinking. Like, if we just have to get the three symbols and that's it. Or, if it's like a lot of Legend of Zelda games, I'm specifically thinking Ocarina of Time, where you get the three symbols and then suddenly there's another half of the game that you have to go through that you opened up. I mean, there is the mountain door that we still can't open up. So, I, I don't know. That halo looks pretty cool. Again, the same battle fought uncountable times. Air to the air. Are we... We're probably some ancient hero that's brought back, like Legend of Zelda. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's probably the case. Oh? Oh, Fade to Black. Okay. Oh. Is there a shop here? Are you the same giant fox skeleton? I'm gonna assume you are. Can we afford this? We cannot. Ah, 352. Makes sense. Uh, incendiaries weren't the best against the boss, but against 
mini bosses and like envoys. It's really good. So we might as well get some more of these. But we don't want to spend all of our money. Eventually we'll get some upgrades and we'll have to have some money to, to spend on them. Oh! Beneath the Eastern Vault. Wait. Eastern Vault. I... Uh, uh, I remember seeing Eastern Vault. And I think I know what our next major boss... Yeah. Fortress of the Eastern Vault. This is a... This is, again, either a door or a boss. And it very much looks like it's a boss. Like a giant robot golem dealio. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're headed. You can't hide the secret. Wait. Is there more in here? Break everything. Break it all. Oh, what? Candlesticks? The monastery had schools and they have candlesticks here? How many do you need? All right, what's down here? Please, no tentacles. I'm just gonna have to run into all the walls. Oh. Okay, well, there's a shortcut. Where is this going? Oh. Spider, get out of here. Uh, it's so dark. Even with this lantern, it doesn't light up much. Is there something over here? Like, why was the spider there? I'm not running into any openings, so... Whatever. Oh. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Well, compared to the, the bosses that we fought, all this is super easy. Like, our attack is high enough where it's not an issue. It's like two hits for a lot of these enemies. Well, this is all interesting, but what's my goal here? I just kind of went down a ladder, and I'm assuming that this is going to loop over to where the, all those monks were. This could just be a side area for, like, some upgrades, which I wouldn't be opposed to it. Upgrades are very necessary at this point. We were running into a lot of them, and now it just feels like... Every chest we open is just full of money. <laughs> Any more spiders? Come on. I dare ya. Come at me. Oh, you're you're a bit tankier. Take oh, come on. Why are you backing up? Come to me. Come to me. This is gonna be good. Just wait. And you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the spread on that is perfect. Through the waterfall? Ah, always through the waterfall. Oh. This was. Okay, this was the muffling bell, and I think that one makes us, uh. Less. How do I word this? It makes it so it's harder for the enemies to hear us, probably, or know that we're around. But I don't know if that's really necessary. Because we're already pretty powerful, so even if they swarm us, just a shotgun blast and we're good. <laughs> makes me wonder if the, the quarry was supposed to be tackled later. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Oh, wait, maybe this was the way. 
<laughs> I'm already getting turned around down here. It all looks the same. Hmm. Can I... No, I can't do that, but can I shoot it? That'll do. Ooh, ooh, magic upgrade. That's magic upgrade. It's exactly what I want. Okay, this loops around. So we didn't have to shoot it. But that works. Just a little bit further. I wanted to go pretty far since we spent so much time on that boss, but... Oh. I don't want to go crazy. We're going to be spending a lot of time in here anyways. Wait, what is this? There's something on the other side, obviously. Like... Okay. Thought maybe I could shoot through, but that did not play out. Where am I going? Ooh. Jail cells. Shortcut. It's all coming together. Bucket? All right. Ooh. Okay, some healing. Another bucket? There's something, oh. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky attack. Swinging candlesticks at me. The burning is annoying. But other than that, it's, okay, it's burning a while. Can you, oh, I wonder if I actually have to roll to put it out. Whoa, okay game. I don't know what happened there that made you freak out, but. Don't do it again. <laughs> Especially not in combat. So we're gonna have to deal with a lot of fire. And that's not the best. But, wait, is that an upgrade? That's... I think that's an upgrade. Probably for health. Um... But with the fire, I'm kind of thinking that maybe I do have to roll to put it out. I'm gonna have to test that. Hello. They're very wrapped up in whatever they're doing. Shotgun. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, the shotgun blast is great. Okay. All right. You... Whoa, they just kind of glide along. That's pretty cool, but this is cooler. And let's go ahead and hit this. Great. Chain the power. I'm kind of doubting that there's a shrine over there, so... Oh. Oh, there's a shortcut. Okay, not shortcut. Secret. Oh, another coin. Well, I wouldn't mind another card slot, even though I don't exactly know what a lot of these things do. I'm thinking, um... Yeah, we're, we're gonna stop here. We've got a lot of ground that we're gonna have to cover in the next episode. A lot of monks to deal with, a lot more of these weird obelisks to activate, and then I'm sure another difficult boss fight, which eventually we're gonna have to go back to the librarian, but I feel like we still should upgrade more, get a lot more magic, maybe some more defense. I, I don't know, that one is very tricky. So yeah, when we come back, we'll continue exploring around and see where it takes us. So until then, thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.